In Excel, you can use the average function to calculate the average or the mean for a set of numbers. So here we have quantities, and I can use average in this cell to calculate quickly. So I'll just type equals average, and then I'll put in the numbers that I want to average. So I'll select all those cells, press enter, and there's the average. But in some sets of numbers, you might have a few that are way lower or higher than the others, either through data entry errors or just odd circumstances. And you don't want to include those outliers, the really high and low numbers, in your average. Instead of using the average function, you can use Excel's trim mean, exclude a certain percentage of the high and low numbers, and then calculate the average for those inner numbers. So here we've got a set of numbers. I'm going to just use conditional formatting to highlight the high and low. So I've selected those cells, conditional formatting, and I'll use a color scale with red and green. So now I can see the dark red one here is 97, then there's an 86, which is my next highest number. And at the low end of the scale, I've got a 3 and a 4. So those really don't match with all the other quantities that we're seeing. And I'm going to use trim mean to calculate the average and exclude those high and low numbers. I've typed the percentage of numbers that I want to exclude here. So I'm saying exclude 25%. So that would be split. 12.5% from the top and 12.5% from the bottom. We've got 20 numbers, so it's going to take two from the top and two from the bottom. To calculate the average for the remaining numbers, I'll type equals, trim mean, and open bracket. I'll select all the cells that I want in the array, D2 to D21, then a comma, and the percent of numbers, I could type a percent here, but I'll click on the cell where I've entered the percent, close the bracket, and press enter. So the average overall was 51.95, but by using trim mean, it's 53.06. We'll take a look at how trim mean works. What it does is get a count of the numbers in your array. So in our case, it would be equal count. I'll select all the values and press enter. So we have 20 numbers. Our percentage is entered in this cell. So we'll find how many cells are in that percentage. It's equal to the percent times our number. So we're looking at five cells that should be excluded. We're going to split that between the top and the bottom, so it would be equal to that number divided by 2. And that gives us 2 and a half. It can't exclude half of a cell, so it's going to round that down to the nearest integer. So we'd use the int function to show that equals int, and this cell, which gives us 2. So it's going to take two numbers from the top and from the bottom. And then for the remaining numbers, it will calculate the average. And to verify that this is working, I'm going to sort these numbers lowest to highest. So I'll click a cell, go to data, A to Z. And there are two lowest numbers and the two highest, and they would be excluded. So I'll do another average here. I'll call it average inner and it's equal to average. And I'll select just those inner cells, so not the first two, and then down to everything but the last two, press enter, and we can see that the number is the same. This has a bit more rounding, so I'll format the other cell the same. And we can see that those numbers match. I'll check with an equal formula, equals this, equals this, and it's true. So if you need an average and want to exclude some of the outliers in the data, use trim mean and set your percentage for the number that you want to exclude.
For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.